Greetings, everybody. We all know such a famous name like Sherlock Holmes. And we love him. Let's see why. Now, there is a short answer for me. He's the god of logic. He's the god of solving criminal issues. And his deductive methods are brilliant. Now, he also is partially genius. That's why he's great at all of this. But also because he's smart. He's smart because he remembers things. And he knows things. I mean, he knows things. And to know things, you need to remember them. Now, I call this remembering for Sherlock a mind palace. And for us, mortal people, I call it a super memory. Now, did you ever think how to develop that super memory, or at least not to lose it? Or even, is it possible to develop super memory, so-called super memory and super focus? Well, the answer is definitely yes. Uh, and many slots would like to have such power without even doing challenging exercises. And partially, I would say it's possible. But the main thing that here that um, the exercises should be systematic. And I'm going to give you five tips, five exercises um, to train your memory in everyday life so it becomes stronger and stronger each day. The first one, they're easy. The first one, brush your teeth with your right arm if you're left-handed or brush your teeth with your left arm if you're right-handed. Now, we're doing this because the second hemisphere starts um, improving uh, the speed and your memory gets better. Now, second, teach yourself to memorize the shopping list because closer to 60, shopping will be probably hard for you. Now, the third reason. After watching a movie, um, mentally rotate the events that happen there. Just restore the events that happen in the movie. It will not take more than 20 seconds, but the result is tremendous. Now, the fourth reason, read books, which I love a lot. I was so excited when I saw this fact. Read books. Um, just approximately one book per week. So that's 52 books per year. And it's for 10 years, 520 books. That's a big amount. Now, if you really need super memory, the fifth one, uh, learn poems or um, just the same way like reading books, one poem per week. So that's going to be uh, 52 poems per year. Now, also an important fact, an important helping tool is um, eating, eating walnuts, eating honey, um, sea kale or seaweed, uh, bring yourself to normal weight, walk, um, and exercise daily so your body is also in the mood of working. Now, I'll see you one super memory, stop smoking if you're smoking, and also an amusing fact for me was that falling in love helps too because nitric oxide produces in the blood and it, re it repairs the damaged vessels so the brain begins to think fast this is an amusing fact so fall in love stop smoking eat well and i'm going to revise those fat five tips now um, brush your teeth with your left arm if you're right-handed with your right arm if you're left-handed Teach yourself to memorize the shopping list, revise, um, review the mentally the movie, the events in the movie that you just saw, and read a book once a week, if possible. And if you need a super memory, memorize a poem, one poem per week. So these simple five mm, tips, five tips on improving your memory. Are, hel are really helping. I didn't do it myself, I didn't check it, not yet because I just saw it recently, but I'm willing to practice it and my friends will practice with me so we'll see the results, but I've heard some reviews where people said that this really is helping. And it's simple, easy, we're enjoying it, and probably I hope that we're all going to have super memory and even maybe reach the mind palace. Thank you, bye bye.